cyclones and earthquakes. Now let us learn about other natural phenomena like cyclones and earthquakes. Occurrence of thunderstorm is always followed by the occurrence of lightning and cyclones. Cyclone is a natural phenomena which cause large scale destruction of human life and property. Cyclones can be predicted to some extent by the weather department and they can warn about a thunderstorm developing in some area which will be followed by cyclone. However, earthquake is one of the natural phenomena that cannot be predicted. Earthquakes cause great damage to life and property. An earthquake is a sudden shaking or trembling of the earth lasting for a very short time. It is caused by a disturbance deep inside the earth's crust. Earthquakes occur all the time, all over the earth. However, they are not even noticed. The frequency of occurrence of major earthquakes is very less. Major earthquakes cause immense damage to buildings, bridges, dams, people, plants and animals. The earthquakes can cause floods, landslides and tsunamis. For example, a major tsunami occurred in the Indian Ocean on 26 December 2004 caused huge damage to the life and property in the coastal areas around the ocean. Now let us know the cause for the occurrence of earthquakes. Earthquakes occur due to the disturbance inside the uppermost layer of the earth called the crust. Earth crust is not a single piece and it is fragmented. Each fragment is called a plate. These plates are in continual motion. When a plate goes under another plate due to collision, they cause disturbance in the earth's crust. This disturbance can be seen as an earthquake on the surface of the earth. Though we know the causes of an earthquake, we cannot predict when and where the next earthquake might occur. Earthquakes can also be caused due to volcanic eruptions or an earthquake may occur when a meteor hits the earth. However, most earthquakes are caused by the movement of plates in the earth's crust. The boundaries of the plates are the weak zones where earthquakes are more likely to occur and these weak zones are also known as seismic or fault zones. The power of an earthquake is expressed in terms of a magnitude on a scale called Richter scale. Destructive earthquakes have magnitudes higher than 7 on the Richter scale.